All right, let's get to the mini melee in Brooklyn this weekend between the Nets and the Sixers. It started with that flagrant foul from Joel Embiid on Jared mm. Allen. So Jared Dudley comes in, yeah. pushes Embiid. Yeah. Jimmy Butler comes in defending his teammate, right? Mm -hmm. And then here is Embiid on Dudley after the game. First of all, he's a nobody, so. And when, you know, opponents trying to get, trying to do stuff like that, that's just to get us out of the game. Uh, especially, I, I'm too valuable for my team. Uh, that's why I didn't react. I did not do anything. Uh, and I didn't think I was a flagrant foul because I played the ball too, but. Uh, in that type of situation, I just got to stay composed and be mature and let it go because I, uh, my teammates need, need me more than they need, me, they need him. So, you know, I just got to be mature. I love Joel there, by the way, because if you look at that video, Jimmy Butler's in there defending him and getting, and then Joel's walking away like this. Hands up, yo. Hands, <laughs> Hands up, up. I'm not doing anything. I didn't do I didn't anything. <laughs> um, there were fines for the players involved. Do you agree with the ejections and the ultimate fines there, Byron, or do you think, hey, it's pushing and shoving is the playoffs? No, I agree with the ejection. I, I think, again, you know, Jared Dudley came in and he did what he was supposed to do because he's protecting his teammates. Right. Uh, and so he, he pushes a beat and then. You know, Jimmy Butler did what he was supposed to do. He's yeah. protecting his teammate. So I think those two guys being ejected was fair. I think the uh, uh, the fines are fair. But, uh, you know, for a B, and, you know, we, we love a B. We, yeah. we love him. But to say that, you know, uh, our, our guy, you know, Jared, Jared Dudley is nobody. not a, you know, he's a nobody. He's a 13-year vet. I was gonna yeah. say. He's been in this league for a long time. He's one of the nicest guys you ever meet. He's a competitor. Smart. He's a great team guy. He's great in the locker room. He's valuable for this team because they're so young. They haven't been in this situation yeah. before. So the guy has value. There's no doubt about that. He, you wouldn't be in this league 13 years if you couldn't yeah. play. Absolutely. And Jared, Jared Dudley can play. Yeah, I mean, I don't think Embiid, if Embiid, I want to hear him say that about Al Horford. Or, you know, say that he's about not, the, he's not right? Do that. You say, <laughs> yeah. you say that about a role he's player. He's not going to do that. He's a role player, right? right? Jared Dudley. But I thought Dudley was, was wrong. I thought he could have done exactly what you did, stood up for his teammate, but don't come in blindside shoving someone right. because that's escalating and we know how the, the league stance about this mm -hmm. especially as the fight then starts to spill into, into the, the stands you've, the got, league you've is, got kids it was an yeah. afternoon game you've got kids in that front row it's a zero tolerance situation and so i have no problem with him running hooking and coming right, right into right, his right, face right, right, right. but once you do this right here that just opens the door for everything else kind of that spilled over. Well, there was emotions all around because yeah. after game four, Nets general manager Sean Marks entered the officials locker room. Woj reporting that Marks thought that that flagrant foul on Jared Allen in game one and the one in game two and game four should have been ruled flagrant twos. Marks has been fined $25,000 and suspended without pay for game five. Now, I mean, our friend Brian Winhorst on his podcast today called this unacceptable. Mm -hmm. He said that Marks ran in there like he was the parent at a seventh grade basketball <laughs> game. And and I've never I've never heard Brian sort of frothing at the right. mouth like this, saying that the it shouldn't be held up as an example of him defending his team. It should be held up as an example of abuse on officials. Which way do you fall? Well, I know Sean Marks. He was a player for us at the Phoenix Suns, and you said you never heard Brian. I've never seen Sean Marks uh, get that emotional. I coached him, so right? yeah. So you know what I'm talking about. So at first I was kind of this is odd because I've never heard of anybody doing this. They have a security guard outside they of that door. They have guards. Yeah, they have like right. at all usually times. Usually multiple guards at outside of the, the officials' room. But then when I saw the tweet from Joe Sy, who is right now the minority owner of the Nets, but will soon become the majority owner right. when he gets the last two percent. Here's a tweet. Here I read this and I said. Oh, I get what they're doing. C to the free agents, come to Brooklyn. We look out for you. We, we will back. fight for you. Yep, we you don't get back. fined. You don't get suspended. We'll take those fines. We'll take those suspensions. Because I think Joe Sy is going to get a fine for that as well. Right. You can't encourage this kind of stuff. But what they're doing is really advertising. It's an infomercial for free agents to sell. Yeah, and, and I don't agree with it. But I, I was just like, I mean, when, when I heard it, Sean Marks ran in, I was like, wait a minute. I coached Sean in right. New Orleans. He's one of the nicest guys you'll ever right. meet in your life doesn't have a mean bone in his body. For him to run in there, he must have been really heated. And then I said, oh, okay, he's, he's protecting his players. Yeah. And, and I get it. You know, I get it. But there's no way he should have ran in the locker room. And where, like you said, where are the guards? Where are the guards? They must have just moved out the way and been like, oh, go on in, you know. Well, it was in Brooklyn. Right, right. Like, I ain't about to go ahead. Go, go, right. go on in. Go. Right, and, and look, I mean, you know, he obviously has credentials right. to be anywhere he wants in the building, not, and maybe they just didn't realize not, that. No, 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 not the referee. Rachel, 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 not the referee. No, no, not I know that, but he's right. wearing a credential that they says access. They know. So they, they should know, know but they know. I don't know if they did.